You know what we're going to ask you about? Not the Super Bowl. We're going to ask you about Valentine's Day. That's right. Okay. Uh -huh. What Everybody. makes the perfect <laughs> Valentine's Day? First of all, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Do you care for it? I, I, and it I, I have to celebrate it. I'm married. Okay. So <laughs> okay. Good, a, good that's, answer. That's, you know. Good answer. So what is your perfect Valentine's Day date? Okay, are we talking married, not married? Because there's two give, different give things, right? Oh, if, if, why? If, if you oh. not, no, because there's two different things. Okay. If, when you're not married, you, you could cook and do some things special. You could also do it at home when you're married, but the problem is I have kids. Right. So when you have kids, now you have to celebrate the Valentine's Day as a family, but when you are a single person, if you know how to cook, you can cook for your girl or whatever the case is and maybe catch a movie sitting on the couch. Yeah. Now, being married, the perfect is you always want to make sure you got some flowers. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. okay. there's the little things like that. There's the flowers, there's the, the card. You don't need to go out and buy YSL bags and all that other stuff. I mean, you guys would accept it because it's like, yeah, cool, but it's not something that you have to do. I like the that. The have to do is the flower. Yes. <laughs> Even if it's one little rose from the side of the 101 freeway, you got do to it. do it, right? <laughs> or else okay. it's an attitude that goes on uh -huh. and, and it, be, it gets tense in there. So you want to bring flowers home, not Agreed. necessarily even no candy, maybe a card. And then yeah. from there, you take them to dinner. You can go to dinner. A nice restaurant that they haven't been at, then put a little thought into it. I don't think oh. that you need to serenade the whole situation <laughs> as if this is a proposal to do you get like married. Going, you do like going out on actual Valentine's Day? Because we always discuss that. You always feel like, oh, there's this prefix menu. They's trying to get you in and out of there. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's it, hard to kind of enjoy it. It's hit and miss. Yeah. Um, again, because when you have kids, the mom sometimes wants to celebrate with everybody as a, as a group. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you something about that card. Do you actually write a nice message, or do you just sign your name? No, you want to write a message because okay. you can't. Or, you know, that, that. Uh, can you say that louder, please? <laughs> yeah, write, 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 a, write a nice message. Thank you. I Thank love you. you. <laughs> You're the dream of my life. And, you know, I yeah. was so happy when I met you. You know, all of those things. You, okay. you know, you're a great mom. You take care of our two kids. Okay. You know. We have your own Valentine here reunion. Yeah. Our producer, Christian. You guys have been friends Why since you were... You so late. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it, does this offend? No, it's fine. Uh, you said it's, it's good. It, it's I know. Good. I tried to get you to come, and you said Never, no. Not a chance. <laughs> Never would I ever... Go to UCLA. Ah. I tried. I tried to recruit him to come to school. He wouldn't come. Oh. And then he went to USC and won a Rose Bowl and was an MVP. So. And they've oh. known each other since 10 years old. 10 years old. What yeah. was he like as a 10-year-old? Uh, it might have, was it 10 or maybe even younger than maybe that? Maybe even younger, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe Do we have eight, a picture? Old? I don't. Uh, no. I don't there were no cameras back there? But he was, he was fun. <laughs> no, he was, he was fun, actually. He's, he's uh, so crazy. He's one of, think about it, he's one of the, the first white dudes that I met. <laughs> think, wow. about where I'm, think, think about it, though. You're talking yeah. about early 80s mm -hmm. in South Los Angeles. And he hung out with us. So it was like, you know, that that's eye-opening. <laughs> no, it really is. Yeah, no, it's yeah. uh, it's eye-opening when you're like... And I talk about stuff like that all the time because when you, you grow up in South Los Angeles, you're not seeing a whole lot of... You're seeing some, some Hispanics... Mm -hmm. And some blacks. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen no white dudes running around with us. It's just police, not. Police, probably. And that's it, really, the police. <laughs> yeah. And that's really it. Yeah. But it's, yeah. Wow. It's so, so he, cool. he was a cool kid. Oh, yeah. Him and his brother, Sean, are cool. So my dad was coaching at USC, and I would go and I'd kind of take a football and stuff it under my shirt, and we would go next door to the Dado baseball field, <laughs> and it would be him and like 10 other kids, and we would just play pickup football all oh, day long while wow. the practices were going on. Wow. Yeah. And it was like every day they were there yeah. when I was there, and it would just. I don't know. Somehow he like he would be on sidelines during games when I was on the sidelines. He'd That's sneak his so way, be nice. a ball boy. That was pretty cool. And then in high school, yeah. he would catch up with us. I tried to get him to come to my high school. He said, no, you guys are too small. I can't do it. I'm too big for you guys. Oh. <laughs> my clear prep. Eh. Yeah. This is a small I mean, had school. A whole, they had a nice team, but it was, it was an environment that I was not used to. Let's just say that. Okay. It was a little, little for me coming from South Central Los Angeles. It just was a different environment. Yeah. You know, now that I'm older, my kids go to private school, I, 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 I understand it. You know, I get it. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, nah. And my dad you used to lean on my dad a little bit, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All advice, the Because my dad advice. was a coach for so long. And he, would, yeah. he would talk to my dad about career advice and, you know, what he should be doing. And Producer I could... Christian, we're about to play you out. Do you want to yeah, do, do a little something? All right. All right. Redeem just yourself. For you. <laughs> See, as, 
as great a friend he is, I would never do that, though. <laughs> I would never put on a UCLA T-shirt. It's not going to happen, no matter what. I have too much history with both, so I can, I, I can do it. It doesn't burn. Couldn't do it. He did it for you. So sweet. Thanks for being here, Keith. Oh, yeah. Always great to see you. He's your mail in time. Right back, yes. you know? There you go. That was cute.